Bob here from Insidium, it's Top Tip Tuesday time and on today's video we're going to be taking a cached particle mesh, this is from a fluid simulation and we're going to be using that to do a object or logo reveal using Redshift. We're going to make a procedural rock and lava material and then use the fluid as kind of a mask to, uh, to reveal our object. So let's jump into cinema and we'll begin. In our scene we have our cached open VDB mesher which is our fluid sim here and you can see that uh, sploshing around and we also have our X which is our X collision geometry. So what we want to do here is set up this render. First of all let's do our water uh, material. So we've got a redshift external object here. Let's switch that on for some dramatic lighting and this if you go to your Maxon asset browser under the HDRIs and you've got these studio HDRIs HDRI rigs. We've just used one of those which brings in this um, object. So let's go into this camera. What we want to do is our liquid first. Let's double click in our material manager, put this on our mesher and we're going to make the most simple water material possible. Let's go to our standard node. We want our reflections to be on full, roughness to be very close to zero. We want our index of refraction to be correct for water, 1.33 and we want our transmission to be on one and there is our water material and we're going to leave it simple like that. Very nice. So now that's looking already good as it splashes its way around that hidden sphere. Very cool. Right, now we are going to look at our um, X material. So I'm just going to switch off that mesher for now. Double click to make a new material and let's stick this on our X. And I'll just switch off that external lighting for now. There we go. So let's open up the settings for this. Now the basis, uh, the basics for this is we will be mixing two different materials together for our rock and lava effect. So let's start with the rock. We will double click and type in Maxon because we want a Maxon noise node. And we want a nice rock like noise. Let's hit solo so we can see it mapped. We're going to use Luca, which works well for rock and we're going to put our octaves up and we want to have this as a larger scale so let's go to the input and the overall scale maybe 850 yep that's looking good and we don't want this to be quite as light so let's get our color 2 and just darken it from the default white down to a gray something like something like that looks good okay and then we want to pipe this color into our base color here look so it's not just gray put that in there and now we have got our base color in that standard node I'm just going to roughen this up a little bit so it's much rougher and now we want to add some bump to this so what we can do we're going to use a noise for that let's duplicate this hold control drag our max on noise and let's change the type FBM is a good type for bump and we want to go to our overall scale and put this down to maybe 200. I'll just solo that so we can see. And we want the full range of color. So let's put that color to back to full white. Yeah, something like that. And then we need to kind of translate this color into a vector input that can go in our bump here. Look, that's easier than it sounds. We just have to type in bump to bring in a bump map node. And all we need to do with this is look, stick our color into the input and then we get our vector output which we can put in there and now we're getting a bit of bump here we can make that more let's put our lighting back on it'll be easy to see that let's click that on yep so now you can see this bump obviously here let's go to our bump map we can increase this by increasing this height scale to say two okay so that's our very simple basic rock material obviously you can go way more uh, complicated than that but that'll do us for this demonstration right so now we want to do our second material so I'm going to hold control drag this to make a new node and this one all we're going to do is emit light from it so let's come down the settings to our emission settings I'm going to put this on 10 and if I solo this node it's just emitting this white light everywhere so now what we want to do is mix these two materials together we do that let's double click by adding what's called a material blender node so let's drag that in there so this is going to be our new input into the surface there look and we need to add the rock as our base color and our light as our layer one material color 
Now you'll see, let's go to the Material Blender settings. You'll see there's no mixing at the moment, it's just the rock. And that's because our base material is here and our layer one has a blend color of black by default. And that means that it's just, just gonna, it's not gonna reveal any of itself. It's just gonna be purely the base material. If it was white, it would be 100% just the light material. But we are, instead of using this as a color, we're going to put a noise into this blend color here to drive it using the noise. So let's grab our Maxon noise, hold control. This is our rock one bring this one down and with that one let's just bring in that full range of color so now if we put this color into that blend color in our material blender node it's starting to blend them but we've got too much light look so where it is white it will have the light color where it is dark it'll have the rock color so let's go to our noise and what we can do is add some contrast if we come to the bottom to our output options we can add some low clip and if you look at the thumbnail it darkens it up and what that does is it reveals more of the rock in the black parts very cool we can even do a bit more so now here's a cool thing and what we can do with our max on noise it's using the black and white values to blend but we can also add a bit of color here look we want this to be lava colored so instead of white let's add some saturation and that's looking really cool already isn't it so the final thing for this mix is we can get this to animate so let's go to our max on noise that we're mixing animation and the speed is how quickly it animates let's put it on maybe 0.1 and now if I hit play you can see that yeah look we're getting that nice cool animation of um, that lava effect cool so that's our basic mix now this will look way better if you use layered noises if you use displacement uh, to get some nice um, displacement as the rock is kind of growing and spreading uh, but for us that's going to look fine let's reactivate our open VDB mesh now to bring our water back into the scene and the final stage is a rendering trick here we don't want to have this X be visible all the time so this is what we're going to do we're going to go to our X to the tags render tags and bring in a redshift object tag in this we're going to go to the visibility we're going to override the visibility and all we're going to do is switch off primary ray visible switch that off and now the camera isn't seeing that X but because we've got secondary ray visible still active it means that we can see the X through the reflections and through the refractions of that glass so if we go forward to the beginning with our waters at the bottom of the scene we can see that X and lava in the reflections and then as that water is animating and, and exploding and whizzing around this hidden sphere it starts to suggest and reveal that X and then as we get to the end we can kind of see the suggestion of the X it's more clear in places and then we get our water blasting away and it disappears once more so it's a really cool stylish effect very simple to set up and with this basic basic setup we can we can see the kind of the, the, the basic theory behind why it works with a much more intricate and detailed material it'll look even better